And tonight in a story you'll see only on KDKA. Political editor John Delano spoke with members of the president's cabinet. He is live in D.C. with what they are saying ahead of tonight. John. Hey, Kim and Ken. It's, uh, we've been at the White House all day meeting with a lot of different officials. And as you point out, in just a couple hours, the president will be leaving behind me to head up to Capitol Hill about a mile away, mile up Pennsylvania Avenue. Everyone we spoke to today said this speech is really important. It's a critical speech for the president, high stakes, and maybe even a make or break moment for President Biden. Senior aides to President Biden insist that America is much better off today than three years ago. Having navigated the nation through COVID with the American Rescue Plan, with checks for many, vaccinations to all who wanted, and then an infrastructure bill to rebuild America's manufacturing base and create record employment. But that's not what many feel. It seems to me that the president has a perception versus reality problem. You can cite statistic after statistic about the economy and the success of the economy and investments in Pennsylvania and in Western Pennsylvania, and yet the public doesn't seem to get it. What's going on here? So here's what I'll tell the public and Americans across the country. Tune in tonight. Tune in tonight. The president's address to Congress is his chance to explain what White House officials describe as the success of the last three years. Well, this is a very high stakes moment for the country. The president believes democracy is on the line at home and abroad. And we saw insurrectionists storm the Capitol on January 6th. We saw the former president, President Trump, defend them as patriots. The president believes they were insurrectionists who were trying to overturn the results of a free and fair election. So he's going to call on Pennsylvanians, on Americans to support preserving democracy in this country. It's going to be an important moment for the president to lay out, to lay out his achievements of the last three years, to talk about his future, his vision, and to show who he's fighting for. We also caught up to Senator Bob Casey, who hopes the president notes Casey's shrinkflation bill to prevent companies from shrinking the size of packaging without cutting prices. But Casey also wants the president to highlight his success. But I think it's also a great opportunity for the president to uh, do a review of what's happened in the last couple of years, uh, lowering the cost of, of insulin for Medicare Part D beneficiaries, capping that at 35 bucks, helping families through the pandemic, uh, lifting the economy, getting the unemployment rate down, uh, and, and focusing on the future. So this will be a combination speech where the president is going to talk about things he's already done, the successes that he believes the administration has accomplished, and at the same time talk about the future, about the goals, and what it means if the president himself were reelected for another four years. It's going to be an interesting speech, and we'll stay tuned, as they say. Live at the White House, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News. All right, John, thanks.